Hi friends and welcome back to Decorate Your Life. This is Sandy for Spellbinders and today I'm going to share with you how you can get the most out of your Spellbinders tool-in-one. But first, here are my disclosures. So today I'm going to share with you a couple of Spellbinders products that are very useful. I'm, these are must-have products. I never ever craft without them. The first one is my Spellbinders self-healing mat. What I love about my Spellbinders self-healing mat is that it is also a magnetic mat. So whenever I have my dyes out, I can be sure that they're not going to go all over the place because they will stay right here on my mat and I love the fact that it has all the measurements that I need and the size of this mat is 16 by 10 so it is large enough of a surface for you to do your paper crafting projects now this is the part that I've been using the most when you flip over your spellbinders mat on the other side it becomes your piercing mat so with the piercing mat you are able to as it says piercing do some piercing for your pro with your projects and most importantly you can uh, do your handmade flower embellishments on here as well so let me show you what I've been working on today and um, I checked on the Spellbinders website and as of today, their piercing mat is on sale for $10, okay? You can't go to your major neighborhood hobby craft store with a coupon and get yourself a piercing mat and magnetic mat uh, this size for 10 bucks so heads up for anyone who's in the market for one of these or wants to upgrade from what they already have now the purpose for me making this video is because I see a lot of folks with their spellbinders tool in one which is this tool right here you see me use it all the time but what I have not shown you is the different ways that you can use your spellbinders tool in one I've never seen anyone else other than the actual spellbinders uh, company uh, show you how uh, the many uses that your tool in one has obviously we have the piercing right here for whenever you use your dies and the dies that I've been working uh, with are from Heartfelt Creations and I've just you know you use your die and you use your little uh, brush over here on intricate dies to loosen the work and so forth and whenever you come across little dots like these and if they're not loosened up what you do is you use your piercing mat I mean your piercing uh, needle to uh, poke through the holes there okay now Another um, use that I have for my piercing mat, and y'all have seen me do this plenty of times, whenever I need to peel off stickers or whatever, I my nails just don't work, so I just use a piercing tool to help me with that. And I also use it to help me glue small items like flat back pearls. See, like the flat back pearls that I have on here yeah I couldn't find my prills and I couldn't find my uh, stamens so I'm using flat back pearls on these so but that is not all okay you're gonna be like all right Sandy we already know it has a piercing tool and it has a brush on one side but let me show you something you can actually use your spell binders to make your handmade flowers when you pair it up with ta -da! <laughs> This is a Spellbinders tool-in-one stylus set, and I will go ahead and leave you with links in the area right underneath this video. It comes in a little pouch like this in a set of three, and I'm going to show you right here and now how you can use this tool. So let me set this to the side. Now, right along here, I know that when you purchase your Spellbinders, uh, this part is already on there and this part is already on there. Now, did you know that when you pull, just like I'm doing right now, let me show you again, you pull 
this part comes out. <laughs> That's right. And you have these little um, circular wedges right along the thing. What you're going to do when you put these in here, you're going to match it up with, and I don't know, I don't think the camera is going to uh, show you it, but there's a tiny little um, ball looking thing. And that's what you match these parts with. So I'm I've removed my piercing uh, part for my spellbinders and I'm going to go ahead and use this stylus so that I can shape my flowers. Now, once again, I'm going to pull and I'm going to look for that little ball thing. Okay, and then I'm going to match this right to that. And there it is. See that? That's all there's to it. So let's go ahead and shape some flowers. I'm just going to go like this. See, and I'm using my piercing mat side. I'm going to go like so. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Turn my flower around and there we go. Now, this tool, I'll be honest with you, I have not used at all, but it's good to have, you know, when you get into the uh, instances in which you are going to need a brayer. Okay, Spellbinders does carry those for your tool in one. So let me get my kitty cat hair out of it. <laughs> and how you're gonna use this tool is, you are going to pretty much do the same like you did over here. You're going to do it over here. Once again, you pull. This comes right out. You look for the wedges, which are right there. And in here, there's going to be that little ball. And you just, there we go. And you've got your brayer. Okay. So that was pretty much it. I'm just going to finish up my flowers and I'm going to go ahead and leave you with the links to the Spellbinders tools that you see right here. And like I said, this mat right now is on sale for 10 bucks. That's it. Okay. This one's coming out a little bit wonky, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Nature is not perfect. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Alrighty. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.